Hi, you guys. I'm going to show you just real quick. Where I am in Thousand Oaks, there is no... Th Currently, there is no threat of any fire around here. It is calm as can be. Not a hint of a breeze. However, the color of this sky is identical to last when there were more fires breaking out around here again. This sky is so white and so hazy with the color. I don't have to tell you. You already know most. It is loaded with aluminum. And the stupid road work everywhere is never ending. And it never looks like the regular old crews I used to see with identifiable trucks and all of that. This is very different. So while California is burning to the ground, and we have this stupid bug going around, this gets to take place. This essential work. Those of you who may not be aware of what this agenda actually is, you have to be becoming suspicious of everything you're seeing. Now that they've done all the repaving in this neighborhood, which it didn't even need in the first place. Any identification on that truck? But this, this is, it's a process I've never seen before in the manner that they're doing it. And the hill going down, it doesn't make sense. The way that they've done this street, and it's probably the same where you are, wherever you are, because it's quite a large grade going up and in to this whole development. And the slope, when you're exiting this neighborhood, there's only one lane going down. So there's one lane that goes down. Yep, they're going to do the bike lane here, making it making the road smaller. They have one lane going down and two going up. Before I was awake, I remember thinking, just using common sense years ago, why does it make any sense having one lane going down and two going up? Wouldn't more accidents happen going down than up? You need two lanes going down and exiting a neighborhood, not one. So I was always questioning that. And then once I found out about Agenda 21, then it suddenly started making sense. It all started coming together. They're doing the same thing here. Look at this road. See, this is plenty wide for two lanes, but nope. They're going to make it tiny and the bicycle lane will be wider. <laughs> See, look at this. And now look out over. Look at that air. I swear, it looks like a fire could ignite in the air, not even on the ground. Oh, that is atrocious. That's atrocious. So see, with the branches falling off the leaves. Branches falling off the leaves. Oh my God. See how wide that is? Look, one lane while they leave more than one lane including the bike lane. Well, that's one of the few I've seen that actually has the city of Thousand Oaks on it. With that cable up there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take you right back to the same spot over here above the Lowe's where I showed what it looked like 
in the last fire. But there was a fire close by with that one. This one, there is no fire near here. Oh, good timing. <laughs> Was that an Apache? Figures. <laughs> Perfect timing. But anyway, look at this. I'm at the Lowe's, the new Lowe's, in front in Newbury Park. This is not right. This is not right. This air is not right with these high winds. We have all this. It's not right. Now, where Deborah Tavares is, she's hours up north from this location. The news, even the local news, is not saying a whole lot. But it looks, that looks, like some of it is coming from off the coast because the ocean is that direction. But look at those mountain tops, the hillside, hillsides, hilltops. This is all prepped. Now, last time I went to Malibu, there were two military helicopters that flew by and the lights were on underneath their cameras, so I have a feeling they were recording the coastline. I just wanted to say, if you take one instance like that, and you tell someone, oh, I saw two military hel of course they can dismiss it and say, well, there is a military base that's just, they were going in that direction towards it. Yes, you can dismiss it. There's a military base there, that is correct. When you tie that together with the hundreds of other videos you see of military helicopters and the tanks and all of the vehicles being tr truck trucked around carted around on the trains all of this suspicious activity going on for a virus that's not even as lethal as the regular flu it should start to tell people you're being lied to <laughs> <laughs>